Hi everyone, my name is Adam, your local Draconic Angel, and today I want to give you guys a quick rundown on how to make a custom class in Roll20. Now this is a thing that, this is video is mainly being made for my players, because um, they will need this, because we are using a supplementary book called Volvo's Fire Secrets. I can't share anything from it, I don't own the rights to it, it's a wonderful book, go purchase it for yourself, supplement book for D&D 5. But, we have, it has a bunch of custom classes. I'm going to go off one again i can't show you anything but i'm going to say the gunslinger um and i'm going to show you on roll 20 here how to go ahead and add in a custom class because if i go to class thing it's not going to give me that one it's going to give all the basic ones i try choosing one. so i'm going to go with the gunslinger and we're going to say he's level one so i'm going to go here to this little gear here click on that and i want you to pay attention to this side of the screen over here actually no <laughs> other side of it pay attention over here under this you're going to click use custom class and you're going to type in the name for me it's gun slinger it's a gunslinger and then i'm looking down my sheet i have a d8 for my hit die you want to click that right here um spellcasting ability there's no spell casting so don't worry about that if there was it has a drop down menu that tells you all of it so let's say i was a constitute this doesn't happen but a constitution caster i click constitution and i'd say i have the spell slots of a full caster such as cleric screws or wizard or a half caster like a paladin or ranger or a third caster like an arcane fighter or a rogue um but we're not a caster so don't do that and then saves i can see that my saving throws are dex and charisma so i'm going to click both of those and now i'm done i go to core and like as if I'd already clicked a regular class, here's the class name, Gunslinger up here. And I have Dex and Charisma auto-selected, and my hit dice is auto-selected to a D8. Hope this helps you guys. This is just a basic little thing for custom classes using Rule 20, because a ton of people don't know how to do that. I'm also going to show one uh, showing some of these other fields over here, um, and how awesome they really are. There's so much more that you can do with Rule 20 that a lot of people don't realize. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Zen, your local Draconic Angel. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.